Hi there. Let's call in Bat. Hey Bat. Bat Bat. Yep, come on up. Here she is. Hi Bat Baby. How are you today? Hey, how's BB today? How's BB today? How's, how's Bat? Hey, why do you, you still won't look over there, right? Because of the camera. <laughs> Gotta try, right? Look at look, 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 look. <laughs> I go to my same trick. Well, hello there, and welcome to this is October twelfth. Today's puzzle piece is Skull the Spider. I do have another uh, puzzle piece for just spiders, but this is Skull, and he is Ian's spider. I thought I would, uh, well, let me just give you a quick overview. So every day this month, I am taking away a puzzle piece from the front cover of the book so that on Halloween, you can see the cover. Is that fun? I know, kind of been done before, but I think it's fun to show you a whole bunch of characters out of the book. So I was able to put the puzzle into like 32 pieces. Just something fun, right? <laughs> So today's puzzle piece is Skull. Now, I thought I would read about Skull from, hmm, page, when did I say 312? It's from the chapter called Livestock on the Train, <laughs> which when I talked to you about that chapter, uh, that came right from a little rascals episode I saw as a kid that always stuck with me. I'll talk about that later. But there is, uh, so they're at in the Great Kingdom and Ian is with one of the rescuers there. And it starts on page 312. The name of the rescuer is Sadar. We have Skull's bed ready for him. It's been built for a very long time, Sadar said, inviting them into the lab. As Sadar ushered them past the other stations, other scientists stopped when they noticed they were heading into the special room at the back. This room had a spider silhouette on the door, and Sadar smiled as he unlocked it. The interior was very plain. There was a heavy table in the middle with some tools, and the wall had some drawers built into it. Think more like... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> now you're like, I don't want to buy this book. Siddhar walked over to one of them, unlocked it, and pulled out a compartment. He reached inside and retrieved a large copper compass, which he then set on the table. Mita, Ian, and Albert all stood on each side of the table. It's Skull's bed, Ian, Siddhar said, pushing it across the table to Ian. It's up to you if you want him in there. The, com the compass was shiny and beautiful like a new copper penny. It sat up on a few inches of eight mechanical legs and had a glass dome on the top. There was a picture of the same skull that Skull had on his back. Ian clicked the side of it like a locket and it popped open for him. Inside was a silk cradle and some clockwork style pieces. It is up to you, Ian. It doesn't have to be today, Albert said. He's still protected, just like in your jar. He still goes with you up. He still goes with you upstairs. Sadar explained. Ian looked at Mita, who had an encouraging smile. Then he looked at the jar and chose to open it. He reached in and gif gently lifted out Skull's lifeless body out of the cradle that the others had built. He took a minute to think about it, then placed him into the cradle inside the compass. He waited a minute and then closed the compass. Albert took a big breath and smiled at him. I am very proud of you, Ian, he said with his hand on his shoulder. Can he take him into the network now, Sadar? Yes, he can. Skull doesn't belong to me. He belongs to Ian. He can do whatever he likes with him, Sadar said, walking towards the door. The door. So, my crappy reading again. <laughs> All right, so that's Skull. He's one of seven spiders that are I'm going to talk about throughout this month. Uh, he's black like a shiny eight ball and on his back is um, an imprint a white imprint of like a human skull <laughs> so imagine a little spider white like a black shiny little body and then he's got a little skull on him 
uh, he's Ian's spider, and he will power his compass in his upcoming mission. So uh, this whole spider-powered com concept came from the um, arachnoid cyst that's in my brain, which I like to think is powering the writing. <laughs> um, every corner of my house has spiders in it. Just sitting there. I figure, you know what, if a spider can sit there for three months, he's allowed to stay. <laughs> Whatever, no problem. I'll just leave them there. They're hardly a threat. So that is Skull. Um, I hope that you will buy this book. I am signing them to you. I am shipping them anywhere in the world that the country will allow me to ship them. <laughs> and, uh, and if you also, I've had some people uh, buy an extra copy for their public library and that is awesome as much as I would love to house you know every public library out there with this with this book and I'm not signed with anybody I'm totally independent doing this all by myself um, you know the the extent of the help I've had so far has been the front cover from Frank Greiner so everything else I'm doing on my own so you know if you have a way to buy yourself a copy and buy one for your local library or if you want to gift one to a friend that not only helps me but I hope to inspire more people with this um, it's a it's a message of hope it's a message of getting back to the playground uh, it's a message of better leadership <laughs> we're all really um, confused lately about what good leadership is and like I said the tagline on the book is an elephant um, we forgot how to lead an elephant never forgets so I hope that you were inspired by it. And, uh, and the release is Halloween. But you can order them now, but I'm going to be releasing them out into the world. And I'm also doing a Facebook Live. I hope that you will um, put your name in that event. And I'm going to do a Facebook Live event on Halloween just to celebrate. Um, I'm not doing a typical book launch party because... I don't really have anybody that I would want to personally invite to it. My my whole thing is, is that if I could have a book launch party and invite people I want, it would be my Facebook friends <laughs> and they are all over the world. So, you know, I'm not doing some Hollywood carpet situation and I'm not um, not going to do something even locally. I, I might do some other local things with the book, but not a launch party. To me, this is too personal. And the people who know the most about it, who know the most about it and my journey, um, I, I would say out of anybody, it's you guys. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, listening to me read poorly. And I hope that you'll purchase this book. I will sign it to you. And tomorrow I will talk about the squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> That's what I'll talk about tomorrow, okay? But for now, I hope you have a great rest of your day. For all my Canadian friends out there, happy Thanksgiving. And I will chat with you tomorrow, okay? Till next time, rock on.